Welcome to Review by DJSPRC. What I wanted to show you today is how to change your bearings in your rear carriers of your Arma uh, Typhoon Typhon. It has multiple names, multiple ways to say it. And what I'm about to show you pretty much applies on the granite. I think it's the same size. It might be the same carrier. I'm not 100% sure on that part. But let's begin. And one of the first thing you need to do is remove your wheel. On the buggy version, they are 17 mil. Put that aside. And what I do for my tire, I just put it underneath the, the vehicle itself. Uh, one of the first thing we'll need to remove is our pin that holds our knuckle there. Or knuckle but our, our X. Let's put that aside. Second one uh, we'll need to remove the top link. The top link is two mil. Once you have this one removed, come on, it's a long screw. On the back here, you'll see the, where my, my my finger is. There's another screw that's two mil. That one is very short. Put that on the side. What that small screw does holds the, the pin that holds the carrier. What I do, I just grab one of my old drivers locate the pin on the other side and push and you'll see it come in come out here I have a hard time seeing the camera here but then I grab a pair of pliers and just pull the pin out and you'll be able to remove the complete carrier out in one shot and what I'll do just swipe it down one of the things happens this vehicle here, uh, the shock leaked. The inner bladder holder came loose and basically put oil a little bit everywhere. Now you will need the arm of bearings, uh, basically 12 by 18 by four and the 612 four. Uh, AR61007 and AR61031 to be able to do this guy here. And the other thing I do with all one of my old drivers, I just insert it in one bearing and basically push and the bearing comes out. Now it's a little bit harder to do the same thing for the other one because it's a little bit bigger. Again, I just grab it and I go at 45 degrees until I hit the physical bearing itself. And slowly, I basically push on it, and you see slowly it's coming out. Sometimes they can be a pain, but like you can see, she's out. And again, I'm just going to try to remove a little bit of the dirt. <coughs> Grab our bearings. Insert this one right here. Grab the other one and put it in two. Always make sure they're completely seated and they're straight. They're both are. Grab our, our dry shaft, pop it in. And make sure everything's fine. It is. And basically reinsert it, the dry shaft. And pop our pin back in. Sometimes it's gonna, you'll see it's going to be hard to pop her in. 
uh, you just slowly move it up and down until you get everything aligned and she'll go back in now, screw our locker back in as we don't put this one in basically while you'll be running it the pin will come out that just prevents the pin from coming out reattach our ball link on top there we go pop our screw in again this guy too it's the same thing too sometimes there'll be a little bit of a pain there we go screw this guy completely in Don't over tighten it just until you feel it's good. Stop right there. Grab our X. Align it with our hole. Pop our pin. I always put it back on the side. That way the pin doesn't come out. And we put our tire back. Screw it back in. If you guys have any comments or questions, post them below. I'll be glad to answer you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It's in that corner over here. And if you hit that bell, you'll be notified next time I upload a video. Thank you very much for watching.